Our Baal Shem Yahweh Shai, Baal Shem Yahweh double on us, the elders and apostles, chiefly of Great Millstone, who rule well. Um, all them people who came out of One West that are talking sense, we ain't talking nonsense. You understand that the mark of the beast is CHIP, and um, you know that this is not about color. Um, that where we are at the moment in time, that the image of the beast isn't uh, a picture of Caesar Borgia. <laughs> it's funny, but it's not funny because a lot of people are being led uh, into a ditch by the blind, and not even by the blind, but those who've taken the bag, man. And I, I can't imagine. I mean, you can't imagine how much I disdain such people and, and the evil of people and the lack of faith because faith is um, hope for things you know not seen you know faith is understanding that this world is ruled by the spiritual and nothing happens in this world except it's sanctioned by Yahweh himself you know as it says in Isaiah I you know, I, the Lord, do all these things. I create light and I create darkness and good and evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, roughly paraphrasing. So lack of faith has, has led men to believe that this is all there is. And this is um, given that this is all there is, they're all doing some all sorts of madness, like taking the bag and selling out this truth because deep, deep, deep down they don't believe. And the reason why they don't believe is because the faith hasn't been given to them. Faith is a gift of the Holy Spirit. I really want to get that. I'm not sure if I can find it. Let me see. Gift. Faith. Let's see what we can find. There we go. Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace ye are saved through faith, and that of not of yourself. It is a gift from God. The people who do not have faith, have not been given the gifts. And we must thank, oh my God, we must thank the Lord so much for the gift of faith, the gift that we were able to see beyond. It's like seeing through the matrix. You know when Neo, like you see, like he suddenly starts to understand and he can see through the facade, the veneer that's in front of him and he can see the true structure of things, that is faith, it's a gift. And we're seeing through the matrix. We see we might have money, that's not all there is. We might have we might feel like oh we can do uh you know that there's fame or career progression or getting a whip or getting some clothes or getting some girls. We we ain't interested in all that because we're seeing through. We see all them, <laughs> we see all them green symbol. When we're looking at, <laughs> when we're looking at, like cars and stuff, you know, all the other man's like, wow, yeah, man, that's a wicked whip. Oh, oh man, I wish I could have that. We just see the green symbols, man. We just see, we see straight through that. It's only by the sanction of your house, and a lot of this shit is set up as a stumbling block. For Negroes, I forgot to say, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, it means he is. Yahweh Shai is the name of his son, it means he is, it says. Rahakadash is the Holy Spirit in, in Hebrew. You know, so I just want to say a big thank you to um, the elders and apostles of GMS who are worthy of double blessings and that, um, who are double honors because I used to look at them and think to myself, these guys, man. What they on, man? What they, how are you going to be standing on the street corner? Let alone, was it me that was blind? You know what I mean? It was me that was stupid. You know what I mean? And I, and I don't... I, I, I do remember what turned me around, but I'm not going to really go into that right now. It was... Part of it was Psalms 83, because I was looking for answers. I've been looking for answers for a long time. Being Catholic, being born-again Christian, been done tried eastern thing nothing of that was giving me the answers you know until brother pointed me in a direction started turning me about well it was even before then i have to go into it and, well i'll go into it a little bit now started looking at the law started look because looking for answers man i was looking everywhere high and low 
research the Moors, research um, what's it called? Not so much Nation of Islam or Nuwabism, but I did look into the Moorish laws, the Moorish stuff for them, the Moor, and then got into the the legal system, understanding the legal system, just looking for answers, looking, trying to find my way and understand how the system works. You know. Anyway. And what, what what I'm seeing right now, what I'm seeing right now is so many prophecies, man. It can't even begin, you know, that the knowledge shall be increased. The AI stuff, man, because I'm an IT geek and that, so the AI stuff is just popping to the point that I don't even think anybody can control it. You know, and that's part of, uh, see if I can remember. Daniel, knowledge shall be increased, right? Knowledge increased. Let's see. Daniel, but thou, Dan, oh, Daniel, shut up 12 and 4. Shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. You know, and people running to and fro. I got friends who asking me, hey, what about these scriptures? What about these scriptures? I tell them I done told you, man. And they're looking at different, different people talking all sorts of people, people talking all sorts of fraff, man. Like who was it? I saw. I haven't read watched the video, but Elder Apostle Tahar was talking about how that the IUIC was talking about how uh, John the Baptist took the MOTB. Like the maddest fraff is being thrown around and everything being scattered and people are going to be running to and fro from this doctrine to that doctrine from that doctrine to this doctrine trying to find the truth like them like them wives and uh the the virgins the term virgins trying running around trying to catch get, get some oil for the lamp trying to figure out how what the fuck is going to happen next what their move should be and that's what they're running to and fro. It's not literally running to and fro. And the knowledge shall be increased. People look into different do doctrines. People look into different technologies. You know? But not only that's <laughs> happening, but the, the, the birth pangs, man. The birth pangs that you ain't never seen. Like you ain't probably haven't really seen it before. Or maybe you might have seen it. Maybe if you, any, any of you like this father's being with a woman now when she's about to give birth and then they start the contractions. The contractions come every hour. And they're weak. It's a little bing every hour. And then it's like a strong contraction every half hour. And at the point when it's, when the baby's due to be born, it's like every five minutes, a strong contraction, bam, 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 bam. And a woman's just holding on because the body is just shaking. You know, the, the contraction, like they say the uterus is the biggest muscle in the body. Now imagine the biggest muscle in the body just giving it the full, hard, the, the, the hardest squeeze, man. So you can't, like it rocks, the contractions are rocking the woman by that time. And the metaphor is the birth pangs of Israel. This is how Israel is going to be born, man. Yeah, you've seen, well, I think the few, the very few lucky ones, you know, escape the curse of, of Eve by, by having a, a painless birth. But more, more, more times when the, when the, when there's a birth, there's pain, there's blood. You know what I mean? There's <laughs> shit. Sorry to be crude, but that's what we're coming into. The birth of Israel, the rising of Jacob, Jacob who took Esau by the heel. Ain't gonna be born. Ain't gonna Israel isn't gonna be born into like you know, skip into the kingdom, man. It's gonna be a bloody birth, bro. 
you know, and this, this idea of birth is, is, let me see, see what we see, pangs, I think there's a scripture for pangs, but I can't remember it. Isaiah 26 and 7, like as a woman with child that draweth near the time of her deliveries in pain and cries out in the pangs, so have we been in thy sight, O Lord. And that's not really what I was looking for. Jeremiah 50 and 43, the king of Babylon has heard report of them and his hands waxed feeble, anguish took hold of him and pangs as of a woman in travail. Micah 4 and 9, why dost thou cry aloud? Is, it, is there no king in thee? Is thy counsellor perish for the pangs that taken thee as a woman in travail, man? <sighs> Shit, man. I can't even... Like when you see it, like, um, Elder from GMS London was saying, man, you can't, you've seen too much, and other people can't see. It's like that of Desi Phil. What's that movie? They live. <laughs> There's vampires and sunglasses that lets him see the true work, nature of the world, and he sees it is all run by these, you know. Demonic, demonic entities, or I think they were aliens. You know what I mean? But I, I, after a while, it's like a, it was hard for him to even be walking around with these glasses on. Man, he was seeing too much, and that's how it sometimes feels overwhelming, man. Micah 4 and 1, but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow unto it and many nations shall come and say, come and let us go to the mountain of the Lord in the house of God of Jacob and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for the Lord shall go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they that sit, but they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree. And none shall make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of hosts have spoken it. And that goes back to, um, you know, thieves gathering grapes and, and um you not being able to, I can't remember, there's a curse or saying you're not, you know, you won't gather the grapes thereof of your own vine. Now a man's just sitting under his own vine, being able to profit from the fruit of his, of his labour, you know. But then also vine, well, I'll, I won't say that because I'm not sure. For all people will walk everyone in the name of his God and we will walk in the name of the Lord of our God forever and ever. In that day, I said, Lord, I will assemble her that halteth and I will gather her that is driven out and her that, have, that, I, that I have afflicted and I will make her that halted a remnant and her that was cast far off a strong nation and the Lord shall reign over them in Mount Zion from henceforth ever, even forever. So there ain't going to be no sneak attack from my, um, what's it, Gog or Magog. <laughs> you know what I mean? And thou, O Tau, flock the stronghold of the daughter of Zion, unto thee shall it come even the first dominion, the kingdom shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. Now, why dost thou cry aloud? Is there no king in thee? Is thy counsel to perish? For pangs have taken thee as a woman in, in travail. Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter. So this is, see, this is the spirit, because I didn't even know that this, some of it told me to go into this, this um, read Michael 4. And it's now talking about labor when I was actually searching for, what was it? Was it pangs? <sighs> Be in pain and labour to f bring forth our daughter of Zion. Be in pain and labour to bring forth our daughter of Zion like a woman in Jezreel, for thou shalt go forth out of the city and shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. There 
the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine en enemies. So, daughter of Zion will be in pain. You know what I mean? She's going to go out. And thou shalt dwell in the field, you know? And it says that we shall be as pilgrims upon the earth, man, in that day. You know what I mean? We go, ain't going to have... A, a pilgrim don't have a regular home, you know? And thou shalt go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. And it said, in the place where, you know, it said that you're not the children of Israel, there you will be, you know, told that you are. So the redemption is happening in Babylon, man. It's going to happen in Babylon and in the midst of the madness. Just like in the midst of the, 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 the birth pangs and the blood and the, the pain, a baby is born. The same way it's going to happen. I think that's what I'm going to shout off with. So, with that, I'd like to say Shalom.